What's going on guys? I got some baseball news for all of you. And if you guys are new to the channel, uh, subscribe if you want to hear more baseball news, more baseball content. Because when the season actually starts, I'll be coming out with a lot more baseball content for all of you guys. I am a White Sox fan, so it's going to be a lot of White Sox coverage. But I'll also do some Cubs coverage for the Cubs fans out there. Um, other teams if you guys want. So yeah, but in this video, I'm going to be talking about where the marquee free agents of this offseason, Bryce Harper and Manny Machado, are going to sign. So nothing is known as of right now, but, you know, spring training is almost here. Spring training is like a month away, and both of them still remain unsigned, which is kind of a surprise to me because I thought both of them would be signed by now. But obviously when you're asking for this much money and this much, uh, this much duration in your contract, it's going to be tough to find, you know, the right team. And there's going to be a lot of, a lot of interest in you, so you have to really weigh the options and I don't really blame them for taking their time because they want to get the best contract for themselves, for their family. So both Bryce Harper and Manny Machado, they had a ton of potential suitors in the offseason, you know. People are saying that both of them could go to the Cubs, they could go to the Yankees, they could go to the White Sox, they could go to the Phillies. There's a bunch of rumors for all of them. But as of right now, the potential suitors have most likely been whittled down to only one or two teams for both of them. So let's begin with Bryce Harper, and Bryce Harper was rumored to go to a lot of different teams in, these, in this offseason. People thought that he could potentially go to the Yankees to make a stacked lineup, even more stacked. People thought that he could go to the Cubs because Bryce Harper and Chris Bryant, they're pretty much best friends. So having your best friend, you know, that's going to increase the likelihood of you having fun on the team. So that was a potential option. People thought that the White Sox were an option because they have a very small payroll and they need a superstar. So that was definitely an option. And the Phillies, obviously, and a bunch of other teams as well. But as of right now, it's pretty much been whittled down to only the Philadelphia Phillies as being uh, the main contender for Bryce Harper, along with some mystery team. Now, whether these mystery teams actually exist or not, nobody knows because it could just be Scott Boris trying to, and if you guys don't know Scott Boris, he's a Bryce Harper's agent. It could just be Scott Boris trying to get teams to bid against themselves. In this case, getting the Phillies to bid against themselves to get a bigger contract for Bryce Harper. Now, in my opinion, what I think is that these mystery teams, I don't think they really exist. And it's my opinion that Bryce Harper is going to go to the Philadelphia Phillies because it just seems like they have the best shot at getting him right now based on all the reports I've been reading, based on, based on the news that I've been hearing. And it makes sense for both sides. I mean, Bryce Harper, he would definitely be needed in Philadelphia. He would be, you know, he'd fill a big role in Philadelphia. Philadelphia can, can afford to pay him the money, uh, the fans would love him, and I think it'd be a very good deal for both sides, so I think that Bryce Harper is going to be going to the Philadelphia Phillies. Now let's get to Manny Machado, and Manny Machado is rumored to go to a lot of different teams as well, namely the White Sox and the Phillies uh, on the later stages, but right now it seems like the Phillies are going to go after Bryce Harper, so they're obviously not going to go after both Harper and Machado. So as of right now, it's looking like the Chicago White Sox have the best shot at landing Manny Machado. Now reportedly, there's some news that broke out. It was fake news though, that, uh, that the White Sox actually made an offer for him and that offer got leaked. It was reportedly seven years for $175 million, which when I read that, I mean, I thought that <laughs> Jerry Reinsendorf, are you really that cheap? But actually, I don't think that's an actual offer because... Manny Machado's agent reportedly denied that offer. He said that's not the real offer. So we don't actually know what the offer the White Sox gave him, what it actually is. But I'm assuming it's going to be something in the $200 million range because $175 million, that's a little bit low even for Machado. So in my opinion, I think that the Manny Machado is going to go to the White Sox because, again, there's some mystery teams out there reportedly, but it's down to the White Sox and the mystery teams, and I don't think the mystery teams actually exist. It's just Manny Machado's agent trying to get the White Sox to bid against themselves. But I really feel like the Chicago White Sox are the perfect fit for Manny Machado because they can afford to pay him as much money as he wants, unless Jerry Reinsendorf wants to be cheap, which hopefully that doesn't happen. And the White Sox, they have a very hitter-friendly ballpark, guaranteed rate right field. Manny Machado's numbers could go up. He could have a very good season. Uh, the White Sox also have a very low payroll, so again, we can afford to pay him what he wants. And the White Sox have been starving for a positional superstar for so damn long. We've had some great pitchers. You know, Chris Sale, he was a superstar pitcher, but we haven't had a superstar 
positional player that plays every single day in so long. So the fans are craving a superstar, the organization is craving a superstar, and getting Manny Machado, you know, it's going to increase interest in the White Sox heavily. Now, we still might not have the best attendance, but I really feel like this, you know, the stands are going to fill up a little bit more, at least, if we get Manny Machado, if this team actually becomes good this offseason. But yeah, in my opinion, Manny Machado is going to be going to the Chicago White Sox. So that's going to wrap up my video. Let me know your thoughts down below if you agree with my predictions. If you think Manny Machado or Bryce Harper are going to go somewhere else, let me know down below. And, you know, as a White Sox fan, I really hope that we can get Manny Machado. I won't be overly, overly sad if we don't get him because we still have so many young, young talents, so much young talent and so much, you know, very low payroll so we can sign people in the future. But the Sox are starving for a superstar and I want to see a good team for once. So I hope it can happen and peace out guys.